you very much for thank you for uh, being here. And uh, you sell literally millions of albums. What would be the correct figure? Oh, 14, 15 million. 14 or small 15 figure million. actually nowadays, I think. But you do this. Uh, correct me if this is uh, not true. With uh, without the benefit of a lot of uh, commercial uh, airplay, right? Yeah, on occasion I've had a few uh, clicks going back in. Uh, 77, 78 with some Cat Scratch Fever and some other love songs, but other than that, <laughs> I, uh, I don't get a whole lot of radio play. There seems to be a trend in uh, programming radio that uh, gets a little gentle at times. Uh, and so you, you feel that people uh, would, uh, what, what is the reason that you're not included in that? Uh... There's a lot of wimps out there. <laughs> You know, it's basically inconsequential because I just rock it out. Uh -huh. Rock and rollers pretty much just go for it, and uh, the wimps kind of wimp for it. I got I, That's a touching sentiment, though. There are a lot of wimps out there. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. The streets are full of wimps. Uh, They're everywhere. They really. All right. So then, describe. Well, you mentioned the other stuff as being sort of gentle compared to your music. What how, What would be a description of your music? Well, I think the titles pretty much say it all. I I give a lot of. Uh, time and concentration in my lyrics, you know. Mm -hmm. and I feel it's really a, I feel it's a uh, important display of my art form. Uh -huh. Songs like uh, Wang Dang Sweet <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a compassionate kind of guy. <laughs> you yourself admitted that you're not the Motor City Madman. Uh, no, it's I'm a not. Unique, it's a That's unique right. presentation of uh, my inner feelings. Yeah. Know? Yeah, and uh, thanks for pointing that out for folks just tuning in. I am not. The, this is the. Um, now you, I know you play uh, the music loudly. Can you give us an indication of how loudly this? Uh... Yeah, I got a I got a perfect indication of that. Proud day in my life, actually. <laughs> uh, we were playing the Arrowhead Stadium in uh, Kansas City a few years back. There were about sixty, seventy thousand screaming dogs there. It was great, and. Uh, <laughs> We, uh, we go into a, a facility to play, you know, with the general uh, Detroit rock and roll attitude that overkill is good for you. Mm -hmm. And we have, these, we have these technical advisors that uh, uh, come up with recommendations based on the size and the dimensions of the facility, uh, how much ampage you need and how many watts you can use, you know, mm -hmm. adequately. And so we, we are consulted with these advisors. and. They came back and said, yeah, Tib, we figure, boy, we've looked at them. We know you like to play loud. We figure, yeah, let's go. Let's go 60,000 watts of power. And I went, whoa. Well, we put 120 per side, Jack. I mean, we're talking. We said, this is 1978 or 79. We figured, hey, who are we to stop at the uh, line? We figured it was time for some experimentation. So we put up 120,000 watts per side. It was great. <laughs> and, uh, and we started yanking and a cranking, and uh, we understood they tried to they sh tried to shut the show down, but of course there were seventy thousand people on my side, so they didn't. But uh, uh, it turned out. Now dig this, Dave. You'll dig this. <laughs> it turned out that we they got uh, complaints. Uh, count them. Eighteen miles away. <laughs> Eighteen miles away. I guess the uh, the uh, cow productivity was diminishing as the set went on. However, Good the bull productivity went way up. Uh, wait, wait, as far as you know, 18 miles for a complaint is the record on a complaint I'm, like I'm that? quite confident that that's the lick right there. Now, has, uh, um, in addition to being enjoyable, I'm guessing that uh, you, well, of course you find Good it guess. enjoyable. Good has it, doesn't it affect you somehow? Has it made you, I mean, have you had physical problems? Yeah. Uh, my productivity went way up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my left ear has been uh, severely damaged. Yeah. yeah. That's a small oh, price no. to pay. <laughs> she damaged it. Get her over here. Now, this is, is she applauding for ear damage? <laughs> I've never heard anyone take a positive stand. <laughs> That's a rock and roll. There are rock and rollers amongst us. Now, will that come back? Hey, will that your ear ever come back like Or is it gone? I hope not. No. Mm -hmm. Now, what about your uh, your other ear? My right ear is in good shape. I started wearing earplugs about oh, 16, 17 years ago uh -huh. on my right ear because that was uh, absorbing the preponderance of sound uh -huh. on the stage. That's where the place my amplifiers were. But I didn't start wearing earplug in my left ear till about 10 years ago, and the damage had been done. Yeah. Now, do you suppose there would come a time in your life? I mean, you've been a huge success and will continue to be so. But when you 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 regret maybe that uh, you've hurt your ear like that? No, small price to pay. Yeah. You know. I, uh, I can hear fine, you know, if you speak up a little bit, yeah. and I appreciate you doing so. 
but uh, a little. But it, no, it's no problem. <laughs> Now you want to? We have. Uh, we would like for you to play something, Ted, if uh, if you don't mind doing that. No problem. Right now, you want me to do yes, it? Sir. Megan? Yes, sir. Yes, uh... sir. How about if I come right over there by you, Dave? Is that all right? Okay, fine. Now, uh, now we'll we'll. You can, have, you can go over there. Will this be 120,000 no, watts of strictly television? Oh. The reason I'm here, other than that you've got a very tasty show, is the fact that you've got the hottest band Absolutely. on Absolutely. Goes without saying. Mm -hmm.